has been making drums in County Durham, England since 2006, and all their drums are entirely handmade, making them unique. We build the, the drums up from the raw timber, um, so we source in the birches, the maples, the mahoganies, and we, we build up our, our kits um, ply by ply. Essentially, every element is handmade. All the timbers are always handled by hand, it's right to the finishing process, to you know, a really fine instrument. The process begins with the selection of the timber to make the shell of the snare drum. Strips of plywood are measured out and precisely cut to size. These will be laminated together to form the drum shell. For the outer layer of the drum, two strips of the plywood are layered up on either side of a decorative beading strip and held in place using masking tape. Each plywood layer is coated with a special glue and carefully manipulated into place within a solid walled mold. Each veneer gets a coat of glue by hand and then placed in the mold. Each ply, we use a specific compound of glue. And then each leaf, you know, veneer, we place in the mold to make up that specific drum. So it depends the type of design of drum, how thick, how, how many veneers. The mold's purpose is to apply external pressure to the plywood layers. The shell is left to dry naturally in the mold for 24 hours to ensure a good bond. Once dry, the drum is extracted from the mold and checked for any imperfections in the laminate. The edges of the drum are then precisely trimmed using a circular saw. The drum surface is then carefully sanded by hand to ensure a good smooth finish. Next, the decorative bead is masked with tape, and one half of the drum is stained with a colored lacquer. Once the lacquer is dry, the whole drum is coated with a layer of wax for protection and to give a smooth finish. When the finish is complete, the edges of the drum are beveled using a routing tool. This will form a bearing edge for attaching the drum skins later on. Next, masking tape is applied around the circumference of the drum so that it can be marked up for drilling. A template is used to mark the positions where the drum will be drilled. More masking tape is applied at each position around the drum and a template is used to mark the correct positions for drilling the holes. are drilled through the drum shell at all the marked locations and then all of the external metalwork is screwed on around the edges of the drum. These are used for attaching the drum heads as well as the snare wires. Next, the bottom drum head is attached to the drum using a metal hoop which is screwed onto the drum through the metal lugs. The drum head is then tightened and tuned to ensure even tension around the head using a drum key. The wire snare is attached onto the bottom head of the drum. The snare wires stay in contact with the drum head and vibrate when the drum is hit. It is this that gives a snare drum its unique snappy sound. The final step is to attach the top drum head and tune it. Now it is ready for a thorough test in the drum room. snare drum. From marching band to rock star, it really is an incredible invention. After the break, we explore how did a happy accident during World War II create one of America's most popular toys.